All right, welcome back uh, from the break. So, Brad, um, well, first of all, I'm John Robert Quinn. I don't even think I mentioned that in the first segment. What's no. wrong with me? No, you didn't. What's wrong with me? The illustrious John <laughs> Robert Quinn. <laughs> Well, if you guys don't know, I'm I'm a talk show host here in Sacramento. Um, producer, uh, yeah, producer. We got television shows. We I, I write, produce music, all kinds of stuff. So entrepreneur, you guys, yeah, you can find it all over at uh, thegoodliferadioshow.org. The only guy working in Sacramento because everybody else I reached out to was like, huh. <laughs> Well, I answer the phone. Except yeah, for when there I'm you go. All right, so um, we're, we're talking about investment properties. Where is a good place to find properties for investment? Excellent question. I know it is because you gave it to me to ask you. Yeah. <laughs> Finding properties for investments is like going on a scavenger hunt. Okay. But if you're patient, persistent, you persevere, you get rewarded handsomely. Okay. Now, I've got a couple different places. I'll give you a little short list. Um, one of the first things you need to help you find these is a good real estate agent and a good real estate attorney. Okay. Why an attorney? You want In some states, an attorney handles most real estates, but the other reason you want a real estate attorney is you want to look for rental properties that are in probate. Okay. Typically with probates, there's an emotional attachment to the house. Most of the siblings don't want to live in it, or they run into the problem where there's a property I had a wholesaler offer to me this week that I went out and looked at with him. Um, the one-bedroom, one-bath house was built in the 40s mm -hmm. in a residential commercial area surrounded by tilt-up warehouses. It's on about three quarters of an acre in front of a trucking company okay. next door to the same trucking company. Okay. And he's like, well, I, I got a good deal on this. And I'm like, so you got it for the land value? Oh, no, 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 no. I got it for like 160000 and I, I want to get 20000 for flipping it. To who? Who's going to pay $180,000 in Northern California, in mm -hmm. Sacramento? Mm-hmm. For a totally trashed, tear down, one bedroom, one bath, dry rotted. It has subterranean termites in the rafter tails. So what do you so what do you suggest? To completely demolish it and start over? With that one, talk to the guy that's got the trucking company and ask him what he'll give you for it. Okay. Because otherwise the health department of the county is gonna come in and shut it down. But that's that one property. But the probate thing about it is the guy that's living, it's a family member, mm -hmm. can't maintain it, isn't interested, property is totally trashed, you can buy it for next to nothing and flip the lot and make some money. Interesting. That'll feed your process. And tear it down and build condos on there, right? Hey. <laughs> I'm thinking at three quarters of an acre, put in some... Uh, Little aluminum storage sheds and a cyclone fence, run out the storage sheds to whoever, or vacant lot, run it out mm -hmm. for additional mm -hmm. parking for the construction companies. No, yeah, you're absolutely right. You can put motorhomes on there, and <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do with that. Yeah, the you house is room. useless. It's yeah. the land that has value. Okay. And a deal like that, that's going to be easy to finance. You can find hard money financing on that all day long. Now, do you so, recommend hard money? I, I thought that was a bad thing. If you're starting out, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You just need to shop for the right hard money people. And believe me, there's a whole lot of money that isn't in play right now uh -huh. that people are doing hard money loans with uh -huh. where, yeah, it may seem like, ooh, 7 8%, that's a lot of money. Well, but if it's a short term and it's a high ROI, then it's good money yeah. if you weren't able to get financed anywhere <clears throat> else. No, you went to the bank, and the <laughs> banker just handed you a free cup of coffee and said, do you want to open an account? Because I wouldn't loan you a nickel to use a pay toilet across the street. you got to go to the hard money people that understand the business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that's one place, and that's one reason why you want some attorneys. You want real estate agents because you want them feeding you the distressed expired properties. So if I were to start buying real estate properties – 
what type of property should I be buying? Back to that first question. What's your long-term goal for it? Okay. Now, you want something to hang on to for seven years, pull some cash out of them, and then dump? Mm-hmm. I've got a couple of doctors that buy them as a tax break to defer their personal income. Okay. So you talk to your tax guys and figure out, <clears throat> excuse me, you talk to your tax guys and figure out, gee, how do I structure this so that I'm a doctor, I'm making a quarter of a million a year, I'm getting hammered on taxes. What can I do to save me some of my tax liability? So, so how does the, the cash cow system, you know, your books that you're writing and we're pushing mm-hmm. out on all these infomercials, how is how are those appealing to the people that we're talking to right now? It's got everything in it set up from A to Z, the steps you need to go through. There's even one chapter that basically deals with your psychology. Mm-hmm. What type of person are you? Mm-hmm. Some people should buy and manage their own. Mm-hmm. Some people should invest in a real estate trust. Okay. Some people should buy and turn it over to a management company. But then how do you know you're getting the right management company? It's not just some idiot stealing a bunch of money from Correct. you where your property goes down. Correct. So it's got the steps of how to interview a property manager. How to stay on top of What to look of for, what not to do, what yeah. to do. Okay, pricing structure, what you yeah. should be getting in return and all those things. Yeah. Okay. And then is there also uh, in, in some of your books and some of the stuff that's available up on your website, cashcowsystems.org, are there um, step-by-step on how and what properties to purchase and where to find those? Yeah. Okay. Yep. There's processes to go through for basically you figure out what your plan is. And then you look at the type of property that fits that. Now, what inspired you to write this 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 product? You know, write all these books. There's a lot of books, a lot of content. Um, basically, I took some time off to take care of my dad and stepmother for 40 years till they passed away. I was mm-hmm. a 24/7 care provider for them. Okay. That afforded me the opportunity to sit down and write while they were resting and sleeping and not needing me, and the opportunity to spend more time with them towards the end of their lives, which mm-hmm. you know, some people say is good, some people say is bad, watching and dealing yeah, with all I get of that. It. I get it. It just is what it is. I mean, I guarantee you there is no way to increase the odds that you will die. Yeah. The odds are 100%. Yeah, exactly. So you might as well have some fun while you're here. You get to spend some time with my parents. I didn't need any income at the time. So you just wrote. So I just wrote. And wrote and wrote and wrote. It wrote. was quiet. It didn't wake them up. How many different products do you think we're going to have when we're done with all this, you know, building all this stuff? Um, I can't begin to fathom how many are possible out of everything. I mean, just we're going what, 12 through. 12 or 15 or something right now, right? Yeah. I mean, just going through how to deal with the rental application process. Mm-hmm. How to keep a tenant for basically about as long as you want. When to put a tenant in a lease and trust me folks it is not when you first meet them oh yeah absolutely. it's like getting married you don't yeah. go on the first date and propose unless it's your cousin <laughs> and you knew it was going to happen or you're in beautiful downtown baghdad then i guess it's prearranged. so <laughs> oh, my god. oh my gosh all right well. i have worked in the south <laughs> oh goodness gracious <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, of course, everything is available on your website at uh, cashcowsystems.com. Cash no, cow dot org. Dot org. We organized it. Org. Cashcowsystems.org. Dot org. See, here I am. Rookie. Total rookie. All right. We're going to go to a break. We're going to come right back.